Hello and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Today we will be focusing on the History Challenge. The History Challenge is a legacy style challenge in The Sims. Takes your Sims on a journey through history, starting with the Stone Age. There are a lot of rules to this challenge and I'll put links to them in the description box below. If this sounds like something that you're interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any episodes of this History Challenge. So let's make some Sims history. Ilsa realized she was pregnant. Let's see how far along she is. She's gonna be going into her second trimester in four 14 hours. She is having bad feelings about this pregnancy. She has horrible heartburn and constant congestion. This pregnancy is not doing that great for her. We're gonna have her see to her knees and then go to bed. She's not even gonna clean up that cup that's on the floor. Kyle is cleaning up after cooking. Perhaps the reason that people didn't stay for the party was that this grill is disgusting. Perhaps the food that was made for, for the wedding reception tasted so bad that they couldn't stand it and they, they fled. I have to tell Ilsa to clean this grill more often. The family could get sick if there's old rotting food on this grill. Oh, it looks so much better. Isle is working on her herbalism skill. She can't learn any of the new recipes because the original Hermit of Granite Falls, who was her best friend, passed away a long time ago. The new Hermit of Granite Falls doesn't seem to know as much as even Isle knows, but Isle is going to make some deodorizing cream. I think Isle caught the disease that Ragni brought. Ragni had a disease and he didn't tell anybody that he had this disease. He had broken out in strange markings on his body, but the outward symptoms have gone away, but he's been pressing this disease around. Looks like Isle has it now. Ilsa had it earlier. Ben saw his grandmother working on the grill and he's come over to see what she was doing. How are you doing today, Og? I was just gonna get ready to cook. Would you like me to teach you how to cook? It's a bright sunny day, so the rain won't put out the grill. I would love to learn how to cook, grandmother. What will you teach me how to make? You're gonna be making boiling frog hot pot. You can always find frogs in the wild if you look hard enough. They, sometimes I even find them in the boxes. Is this the one that makes you want to jump around and run? Yes, this is the one that makes you want to jump around and run. Grandmother, will you write down these recipes like you were gonna write down the handiness tips? It'd be really trashy to forget all the things you taught me. So she is finished making the boiling frog hot pot. We're gonna put that over here on the rock and she's gonna grab herself a serving. Looks like Ragni is back from his short day of work. He went into work late. He has done this the past two days. Hey everybody, I made boiling frog hot pot. Come to eat. Oh, now it looks like Aug is sick with the sickness that Isle had that she caught from Ragni. Oh no, this is going around. Ragni's finished eating. He's hurrying off to clean up his plate so he doesn't have to talk to Isle. Flint has come over to try to learn something about Ragni. Since his mother just got Got married to him and he doesn't know anything about him. Not many people in the Simbilla's family actually know anything about Ragni. Do you like the color brown? I love the color brown. No, brown is pretty boring. There are better colors in the world. The brown ground is where the flowers come from. It's pretty nice. It's a good color. What color do you like if you don't like the color brown? It's a color I can't possibly explain to you. It's too complex. All the nuances of this color. I don't even think they have a word for it. Flint has walked away from his conversation with Ragni because Ragni really was wasn't answering his questions. He's paying attention to the chicken. And then he's gonna go nurture some grubs. Og is gonna come on over here and do his chicken coop chores. He is going to collect the eggs and he's gonna scatter some feed nearby. Some of these chickens might be hungry. Ragni is starting to get pretty stinky from his morning working as a fisherman. While he didn't go for a full day, he did get a full day of stench. So he's going to uh, use the basin in his room. Isle is trying to craft a bathtub. She is trying to learn how to work with wood better so she can make a toilet. I think it's all about the measurements. She and Ilsa have to go to Granite Falls. She is waiting for her daughter to rest up a little bit before they head out to Granite Falls to visit the nature spirit, which is a long-standing tradition among the Simbilis women. Ragni is seen to his basic hygiene needs. He sees a child on the edge of the Simbilis property. He's going to go introduce himself to this child. He's never seen this child before. August come over. Hello there. Did you ride in on a golden llama? August come out to greet this child. This child is named Ulal Asia. This child looks to be related to Aya. Hey there, it's good that you came here and it's not raining. Ragni greeted the child, but the child is not talking to him at all. He's just looking back and forth at the two adult men. Who are you related to? You look so familiar. Why don't you want to talk to me? I said hello to you first, says Ragni. Ragni's upset that the child is not paying total attention to him. He is leaving the conversation. Ulal here wanted to hang out with Fifth. Fifth has to make friends with three children. Are you hungry after your long journey here? I can go make you something. Was it raining when you left? I'm glad the sun is out. He just learned that Ulal is a natural musician. Yeah, I am feeling a little bit hungry. Do you have food that I could probably eat? I heard you shouting over here. 
Well, we're just talking to Lal over here, Grandmother. No, there was no fighting going on, Grandmother. I'm glad to hear that. I would hate to see my grandbabies having to fight at their age. Child's getting a little bit tired. She wants to head out to Granite Falls today. We'll just have her see to her needs and go nap. When Ilsa wakes up, they'll head out. Realize that he threw flour and pigment on the ground. He doesn't want his grandmother to see. He saw his grandmother heading off in the direction of her hut. I better hurry up and clean this before grandmother scolds me. I don't know what I was thinking throwing this grub meal is gross. Ragni was walking by. Fifth, who was cleaning up. That's really good. You want to clean that up. We're trying to make this land less trashy. Ragni just reached parenting level one. Why are you yelling all of a sudden? It's not right to yell. The world needs to hear me. You can influence me to be quiet and discipline me over loud actions. Just know the fire inside of me is never gonna die. Ooh, Fifth is a sassy little boy. Yeah, you can't really do anything. You're not my real dad anyways. I don't care if I'm not your real dad or not. I'm the one that has the ability to say to you, go clean those puddles up in the eating hut. Cleaning things up isn't as good as painting. Yeah, I know, but we still have to clean up the land. But it's bright and sunny. I don't want to be inside a building. Blint in the background there has made his way over to Ulal. He has introduced himself to Child and he is asking Ulal to cloud gaze because he too has to make friends with three children and two adults. The land looks like a bunch of dinosaurs came over here and relieved themselves. You really need to clean this place up. I can't believe you said that dinos pooped on our land. Ilza has just woke up. I definitely think I have a baby. I'm really, really hungry too. I'm gonna eat these strawberries that Aya gave me. Mother wants to go to Granite Falls. Eating those strawberries is helping her hunger level. I am so ready to go to Granite Falls and see that nature spiel. Ilsa and Isle have arrived at Granite Falls after journeying through the day and through the night. Ilsa's feeling sort of disgusting. She's gonna go look for the stone hut so that she can bathe and relieve herself. It was a rather long journey. The first thing that Isle is doing is trying to collect some of these beetles. Oh, and they hurt her. She got bit by something. She's in, in horrible pain. She's itchy. She's got the stumpy flu. Wait, nothing's gonna deter her from coming to see the nature spirit. Oh, nature spirit is so good to see you after my long journey. It has been many, many years since I've come back to Granite Falls. I am feeling very sick. Oh, nature spirit, have you sent this illness to speed me along on my way to the land of the dead? I don't know why I'm sick all of a sudden. I've lived a very healthy life. Nature spirit, will you watch over my daughter when I go to the land of the dead? I fear that I didn't teach her enough when she was a child and that she will be missing valuable things to run the Symbilis tribe. Ilsa has made her way over to the nature spirit. Hello, almighty nature spirit. As you can see, I am going to have a child. I've come to ask for your blessing, oh mighty nature spirit. Please make the baby a baby girl. I will teach her all of the traditions of the nature spirit if you just grant me this one request. Please allow this next baby to be a baby girl. Isle is burning to death. We have to get Isle inside somewhere. We don't want to lose Isle before her time. We are having a heat wave. Send her over to take a nap in the tent. Perhaps that will help her cool down. The bear is talking to the nature spirit and this distraction allowed Ilsa to get away without having a confrontation with the bear. She's heading off to the stone hut where she's going to use the mini waterfall in there. Ilsa has come out of the bathing hut. She is feeling the heat. She's getting some water because she was feeling a little bit dehydrated and she is going to come over here and grill some plantain. Enjoying herself for once. I see why mother likes to come here. <laughs> and there are plants here that we can find and put in our garden and then we won't have to travel to Granite Falls all the time to get them. Ilta has made enough food for herself. She's going to grab herself a portion. Had a dream where she won a lot of wealth. She is going to eat a lemon and then we'll have her travel. Going to a different campsite. There should be some unidentified plants over here. So they've journeyed to this area. Ilsa's feeling pretty hot. We're looking for plants around here. Isle's going to take a cutting of this plant so she can bring it back. Ilsa saw a log. She is going to look to see if there are any frogs in it. She knows how to make boiling frog hot pot and she just needs the frogs to do so. She is not familiar with this plant but she is going to take a cutting from it. Maybe she'll be able to grow it or graft it or something onto one of her other plants. I hope there are plants in the land of the dead. Plants are so magical. Isle is continuing to look around for more plants and it looks like Ilsa found a spotted leaf frog. She's doing really good on all of her needs. We don't have to really see to her doing anything. She is trying to help her mother find these plants. Isle's coming over to stare at this plant. Ooh, she wonders what it is. Oh yeah, this is a wild plant. She did take a cutting from the wild plant. Maybe when she grafts it elsewhere, she'll know what it is. Isle is wandering around looking for some more plants to harvest. This is a basil bush, so she is not going to pick that because it's not harvestable right now and she already has something like that. Isle sees some signs with the image of the nature spirit. She's coming over to look at the map that was painted on this piece of wood. And she hasn't found any plants, so she is going to head back to the lodge 
lounging. She's feeling the heat really badly on top of her feeling feverish. She's gonna go lay down. Ilsa is getting a craving for fish. She is gonna go off and do some fishing. I can catch some fish. I've never fished before, but I know it's probably not that hard to do. My young boys can do it, so I should be able to do it as well. So the only way I'm gonna get fish out here is if I catch one myself. Ilsa is gonna be entering her second trimester in 38 minutes. Granite Falls wasn't this bad this time. I haven't been attacked by so many bugs. I'm very happy. As you can see, her fishing meter isn't that high. She's only a fishing level one, so let's hope she gets one fish at least, then she'll be able to grill it. Ilsa didn't fish that long. The heat was making her dazed and confused. She is just wandering around without any purpose. She's going to be heading back to the campsite. She hasn't seen her mother around. She's really concerned because it is really hot, and she is now in her second trimester. I am out in the world, and while I have been here before on during my other pregnancies, here are probably people I've never met before. Oh, here's an individual I haven't met before. Hello. You know how to clean? My land is totally trashy. Oh, it's nice to meet you. My name is Hawea. I just got married a few days ago, and now I have found I'm with child, and I've come out here away from my husband to get blessings from the nature spirit so that our union will be truly blessed. Ilsa's getting pretty hungry. I think the food she made is around here. The food that she grilled and left on this table is gone. She is going to eat another strawberry just to get her hunger level balanced. She's going to grill a fruit cobbler. All oh, these bugs are starting to bug me. I thought I was going to be able to visit Granite Falls without any bugs attacking me. Isle is very clumsy on her feet now as her age is progressing. She has made it to the stone ha without having an accident. Ilsa is making that fruit cobbler. She has to relieve her bladder or something fierce. A baby must be resting on it. Isle is getting attacked by bugs after leaving the stone hut. Oh, but it's a good thing I brought this insect repellent liniment. I can slather it all over my body. Oh, I'm feeling so dizzy though. I don't feel well at all. I I've never felt this sick before in my life. Oh, look, there's some food out here. I, I should probably inspect it before I just eat it. It could be poisonous for all I know. No, no, this tastes like a fruit thing. I'm sure it's perfectly fine and not poisoned or tainted in any way. I'm really upset that I haven't been able to find any of those unidentified plants yet. Oh, mother, I see you found the cobbler I made. I hope I put a lot of strawberries in her. I don't remember. I just grabbed a bunch of fruit and whacked them all together in a bowl. Well, I'm not finding any plants, but I am running short on bugs. So I'm certain that I can catch some of these bugs to use in my herbal remedies. Oh, and she got bit again. Second time she's gotten bit trying to catch these insects. She never had this problem before. I think my reflexes are just getting a little bit slower now as I am getting closer to my time to journey to the land of the dead. Perhaps that's why those crazy insects are biting me so. I wasn't feeling the sick when we headed out. I wonder what disease I have. I should go lay down in the tent. Miles going to lay down in the tent. Ilsa is cleaning up the cobbler plate. I wonder if mother's having any luck finding those unidentified plants. I see a plant over here that I don't know. Maybe I can harvest it and and give it to my mother and then she can try to identify it. I know this is her life goal. I would hate for her to go to the land of the dead without completing her life goal. Oh, mighty nature spirit, we will be heading back to the Zimbilis land. Please, I ask you again to bless my baby to be a baby girl child so that I will be assured to have an heir. And mother will know that I've had a baby girl before she goes off to the land of the dead. I know that's asking a lot. Could you do that before my mother dies? Ilsa has made her desires known to the nature spirit and she sees a person person that she doesn't know over here. She's introducing herself to him. Hi, do you know anywhere to play games? I'm pretty bored here. No, I, I'm feeling really ill. I haven't had a chance to look for anything that remotely looked like a game. You look like you should probably go find the stone hut. I'm sorry to have stopped you. Well, he wasn't a very good conversationalist. I'm gonna throw this garbage away and these bugs are bugging me. I'm gonna put some of that liniment on that mother made for me. Oh, it's Ragni's birthday today. Ilsa is not even aware that it's Ragni's birthday. She doesn't know very much about him. She might have held off traveling with her mother to Granite Falls had she known that it was Ragni's birthday. Ilsa is gonna head back to the lodging. It is rather late. Ilsa has arrived at the campsite. She went into the tent out of the rain and she sees that her mother is safe and sound. She is resting peacefully. Oh, Oh, I can't believe that the tent is leaking. The water has woken Isle and Ilsa up. The time of them being at Granite Falls is coming to an end. I'm gonna take one more last wander around the lands out here and see if there are any shrubs that have sprouted in the rain. No mushrooms sprout after a rainfall. Perhaps some of the unidentified plants will do that as well. So she harvested it. See if it's something she knows. It looks to be possibly an elderberry. Isle's journey out here to Granite Falls was not very fruitful. Oh, it's so beautiful. 
beautiful and lovely to be alive here in Granite Falls. Thank you, O Nature Spirit, for making such a lovely place. It is Flint and Ragni's growing up day. Yeah, I'm not seeing any plants near the base of your statue. And it's raining. I don't think I can get much more done. Nature Spirit, soon I will be in the land of the dead. Will you please watch over my family and my tribe? And please invent some better medicine than what I have been making with my herbalism. It is not even touching this sickness that I have. I should probably head back. It's going to be a long journey in the rain. Isle and Ilsa have returned from the trip to Granite Falls. Isle is going to head right off to the rock hut. And while her mother is heading off to the rock hut, Ilsa is going to sit by the pool and watch her son swim while she eats the cobbler that she had brought back from Granite Falls with her. Og is getting ready to go to work. He is feeling a little bit dizzy. Ragni has come rushing over. He's feeling really flirty. Oh, I'm so glad you're back. I thought you had run away from me, Ilsa. I went out to Granite Falls. It's part of our tradition because I'm pregnant and I had to ask for the blessings of the nature spirit. Minita, you think you can go wherever you choose without telling me? I didn't need your permission to go anywhere. It's really trashy that you think you can control me now that you and I are married. You don't even know what control is. Why are you being so mean to me? Ragni, I really don't like how you're treating me lately. I'm your wife. I'm not your servant. Don't walk away from me. We were having a discussion. I love how she thinks she can do anything she pleases. I think I'm gonna have to re-educate her on how things work in a marriage. She has to learn that she is my wife and she is beneath me. I don't care how they do it here on this land. Now that I'm here, things are gonna change. All of their eyes are gonna be open and say, oh yeah, Ragni, you are the chieftain of the Sambilla's family. Forget all of our frivolous female traditions. I think I'm gonna bathe off this argument that I had with my wife. I'll feel better. Ilsa has come into the eating hut with her mother. I heard some yelling. What was going on outside? Who was yelling at you, Ilsa? I will take care of them. Really all right, mother. It was just Ragni trying to outshine me. He was telling me I had to ask permission of him to go to Granite Falls. That's actually really trashy. Has he been saying any other things to you that were nasty? We could always tie him up in a hut till he learns how to mind his manners. You think he was a lone wolf before he came here, that he didn't have a tribe? I just don't like playing the games he's trying to make me play, mother. I don't like the way he's been yelling and talking to me. I need to be more respected. I am the chieftain of this clan. I am feeling a little bit sick. So am I. I don't know why I'm suddenly so ill. I've never been ill like this in my whole life. Do you want me to brew you up a potion, mother? Maybe that will help. I, I really feel touched by that, Ilsa, but I think I should just go lay down. Now, I'm gonna end the episode here. Thank you so much for stopping by our Cricket House. If you like what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow the Symbilis family on their journey through the early civilization era. It really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.